Hey guys, it's Fusion Timmy here, and welcome back to Dragon Block C. Today we're gonna be doing a video on Go G Dev. This has probably been the most requested one I've received so far. You guys seem to love these Dragon Block C videos, but I have to remind you that I do other types of 100 day videos. After you watch this, if you're still bored, I've made an Ichigo from Bleach video and a Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen video within the last week. Now these have obviously been in works longer than just the past week, but they did really good and they were really enjoyable, especially the Gojo one. It's really funny. I, I highly recommend you guys go watch it. But finally, we're back to Dragon Block C. We did two Dragon Block C videos this month. We did Black Frieza 200 Days and we also did Goku Black 100 Days. Now, Goku Black was the last 100 Days video I've done pretty much in the last three weeks to a month. So now we're finally back to making 100 Days Dragon Block C content from the start. And this is going to be Gogeta. And I know you guys are excited for this. The objective is going to be to get as strong as we possibly can. Now, if you've watched my other 100 day Dragon Block C videos, you know I hit my stat cap, which was 500. I've officially raised that stat cap to 5,000. That's right, 5,000 stat cap now. So now we pretty much can get through all the sagas no problem. And I've also made the forms a little bit stronger. By that, I mean Super Saiyan Blue Evolution was for some reason weaker than Super Saiyan Blue in my settings. That has now been fixed and it is far stronger than Super Saiyan Blue. So now everything is, is like how it should be. In the last video, I created something called comment of the video. And today's comment of the video is gonna be from the Gojo video, my last upload, and from, you, I think it's Yuto, Yuto Ryuga, something like that. And basically he's talking about the pink sheep. So essentially there was a pink sheep that I killed about two minutes in and I didn't even realize. And I feel so stupid for it. I feel so sad for it. And because of that, we might do something pretty cool later. Uh, I have to pay respect to the pink sheep that I've killed in the last video because that was just sad. I found a, I found a rare pink sheep and I murdered it and I didn't even realize I had done it until after the video was uploaded and people pointed it out. This was the first comment to point it out though and since he was paying close attention, I'm giving him comment of the video. Also, as always, make sure to subscribe, drop a like, and leave a comment because if you want to comment of the video, you gotta comment and also our channel really needs subscribers. We're just trying to blow up, grow, keep the channel moving. If you want me to keep these consistent uploads, I need you guys to keep on watching and keep on subscribing. You know, share around to your friends. Get this channel out there more. We have to grow the fusion army. All right, well, I think that's going to be just about it. I'm so excited to do a Gogeta 100 Days video. I actually prefer Gogeta over Vegito. I'm not saying I'll never do a Vegito video, but this one's the one I was more looking forward to. And now, <laughs> let's get into it. 100 Days as Gogeta in Dragon Block C Minecraft. I not care anymore. I didn't care about being better than Kakarot. I didn't care about being a super s All right, so here we are. Uh, you may notice that my GUI seems a little weird. It's kind of zoomed in. Uh, here's what happens, right? So I have video settings. I can go to GUI scale, auto. Uh, this is small. It's too small. Normal, way too small. Large, well, you know, this, this is like what I had it at the start of the video. It's like, it's, it's a little all right, but it's so small you can barely see it. So then I'm like, all right, all right. Well, let me just go up one more. And then it goes all the way up to this. This is ridiculous, man. Like it takes up like 90% of my screen. So it's like it takes up none of my screen or all of my screen. And honestly, I think I'm filling the large. Whoa, 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 not that. Okay. So I think I'm gonna stay with large for this. So that's why it looks like this. I don't know why it's like this, but for some reason my Minecraft's had this issue uh, ever since the last video. Either way, we're at uh, Kame's Lookout right now. And the good news is we get to be on the good side for once. I mean, I did Frieza and Goku Black. I only got to be on the good side once and that was as Gohan Beast, which was one video. The other three to four videos I did, I was all evil side. So it's so good to finally be on the good side again. I can't tell you how annoying it is playing on the evil side because you can barely get any of the good moves, but that's why I try and make up for it with other aspects. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to Goku's house, I believe. Uh, because Goku could teach us moves over there. I don't think there's anything. You know what? Now that I think about it, there's really nothing I can get from Goku's house right now. I just need to get stronger. I need to go fight stuff. I've officially made my character. As you can see, I look exactly like Gogeta pretty much. It's basically as close as you can get in DBC. I had to use custom hair and everything, but I think it looks really good. And we're going to be trying to build this around Gogeta. So we're going to be using moves from Goku and Vegeta in the future, which means we'll have to learn from both of them. But uh, I think for now, we need to build a base and we need to kill some stuff. Right now, I'm just going to focus on killing stuff, though, because we're so strong. Uh, base isn't exactly the most important thing. Is that another pink shape? There's no way. There is zero way there's another pink sheep here, dude. No, 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 no. I'm telling you guys. 
I know at the start of the video, I said that I might add in a pink sheep, but I swear to God, this was not how I planned on doing it. I was going to use a command. This is completely unscripted. Another pink sheep I found. I have got to save this. And there's a second one? Why is there two pink sheeps? Bro, only on the Fusion Timmy channel. I swear to God. No, like seriously though, guys, what is going on? I, I Have I cursed now because I killed one pink sheep? Is there just going to be like a dozen pink sheep that just come in the area? Oh my god, man, what is going on? I, I know what you guys are going to think that I am completely lying and just making this up, but I promise you on everything, on my entire channel, this is not fake. I don't know if it's like a mod or something maybe messing with it, but I don't understand why there's so many pink sheep. This is a whole different version than the uh, Gojo video. This is 1.7.10. Why is there freaking two pink sheeps? I even just won two pink sheeps. What are the odds of that? How lucky am I? My luck just must be insane. I don't know. I have had some pretty crazy luck recently. I can't lie to you. I'm not going to make that. I'm going to like uh, make some fence, which I always forget how that's made. Okay, there we go. I just want to make it the right way. Okay, hear me out. So make some sticks and then go ahead and do that. God, is that guy have an enchanted bow? Okay, nah, this this is a very weird setting right now. Listen, unless these, these sheep drop something, I'm probably just gonna use some sleeping. I'm gonna sleep the night away. I'll just kill these very basic white sheep. And then I wanna save these pink sheep. That's my main goal. I don't care, man. This is this is because of what I messed up on in the last video. I'm about to make another crafting table and I got one right here. This is what I'm talking about, man. I am the weirdest Minecraft player. I'm, I'm like, I'm not it, bro. Whoa. Relax. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our bed down. All right, now let's go ahead and put these sheeps where they need to be. Bro, I could have like a little pink sheep. I know it's like kind of useless in this, but I have to make up for the mistake I did in the last video. Like that. Oh, wait, how do I, uh, is it wheat or is it seeds? Oh, it's wheat, isn't it? Oh, no. Bam. Boom. One down, guys. One down. So now... I need to get another pink sheep from over here, if he's still over here, and bring them all this all this way. I don't know how we're going to do that. We don't necessarily need, need two pink sheep, but it'd be nice to go ahead and get the second one in there. All right, listen, Mr. Sheep, I know you don't like seeds, my guy, but just hear me out. Hear me out, okay? Hear me out. This does eventually become wheat, which becomes bread, which means you should technically follow him. Okay, fine. Uh, there's not a village nearby either. And there's no way for me to get bread. I, I guess I'm just going to have to put a normal sheep in there or come back. All I need to do is have another sheep in there and I can breed the sheep. I only need one pink sheep. It's just weird that there was two. I don't know. I'm going to call this my home for now, I suppose. We'll go ahead and like, set up a te uh, teleport here and call this home. And this will be where the pink sheep is. And hopefully we can get another pink sheep in there. Or at least some sort of sheep. But to do that, I need wheat. So I guess while we're doing other stuff, I might as well go ahead and set up an, like a farm to get us some wheat so we can draw in the other sheep. Okay, well, our home base is set up. Let's see if we have any TP. So... Not even enough to level up yet. All right, so before we can even do anything at Kami's Lookout, I have to go fight stuff, just a lot of random mobs. So I'm going to go do that and just collect up some items. Okay. This game kind of ridiculous, guys. There's a, there's a third pink sheep. No, I'm serious. There's one right there. And then all the way over here, there's another one. And then there's a pink sheep over there in my fence. So what I'm getting at is there's three different pink sheep in this small little area. How is this possible? I haven't even messed with my settings to change the rarity of any of this or anything like that. I haven't messed with the mods. Look, there's three pink sheep. I'm being haunted by the pink. I swear this is not made up. I don't understand. Like, I'm starting to think maybe there's something in the settings that's messed up. But I haven't even touched them, so I'm so confused. I don't understand. But there's three of these pink sheep in the area. And I know the pink sheep are supposed to be rare, so why are they seeming so common? Like, look, this is this is the sheep I'm supposed to be seeing, but I'm seeing more pink sheep than white sheep, practically. This is sad. This is really, really sad. I'm gonna have, like, an entire pink sheep farm. I, I swear, it's just my luck is like, hey, you killed a pink sheep last video? You're gonna make up for it by making an entire pink sheep farm. We're gonna give you tons of pink sheep. 
I don't even know what to say about that. We officially found what I believe is a Dragon Ball. Yep, we found one of the Dragon Balls. All right, that's already getting us a good start. I was just looking around trying to kill animals, and I found some. I also figured out, I already killed one, but we can do shadow dummies. Like, watch this. All I have to do is just summon a shadow dummy and just start punching away. And that's a really good way to train until I have to get to the Kami's Lookout. I forget about this every time, and I'm like, oh yeah, I can just use shadow dummy. I don't have to be in the time chamber to do it. I'm just like, okay, well, I'll just go ahead and fight. Oh, he actually killed me this time. Either way, though, you can see that I'm getting TP a lot faster. If you kill him, I'm pretty sure you get a bonus. Either way, we're getting there. Um, use a Sensu Bean. It's going pretty well. Uh, another another Dragon Ball. This, I'm telling you, my luck today is just wild. We're in, like, the first five days, and I've already done this much. Like, I'm making some huge progress right now. I got two Dragon Balls. Okay, I officially have enough to get into the Time Chamber, I believe, because we have level two, finally. I added a couple into mine, two into mine, one into strength, one into constitution, one into dexterity. So, just a decent start overall. The reason I want to get to the time chamber so fast is because I always do it and it just, it's very effective. Something about having that weight on you allows you to, like, get way more TP. I think it's because you're able to get more hits. Either way, it allows you to get a lot more TP. You can just kind of back into a wall, shadow dummy train, and it'll do a lot. A lot of people say I can do concentration. But I'm pretty sure it's worse than Shadow Dummy Train. That's why I never even bother with it. Maybe this time we'll try it because it is something new. Uh, either way, I'm going to go ahead and grab weights. You know, I'm going to get it from Kami just because it kind of makes sense. I'm not really going to use it for a while probably because I already have enough weight going down inside of the time chamber. But yeah, also we have, you know, Trunks of Vegeta out here as usual. Uh, I'm just trying to remember what does Vegeta do because this is, this is actually something we're going to have to learn moves from. You have some nerves to talk to me. I don't mind, but get lost fast. You're in the way. Okay, bro. Relax. Learn key techniques. We can do the key blast, big bang attack, final flash, Gallic gun, power ball. Final flash is really good. Big bang attack is really good. I remember, I found that out in the last video. Big bang attack is amazing. We got dash, potential unlock, and endurance. All right, got it. So not too bad. All right. Now, if you don't know how I train in the hyperbolic time jeeper from my other 100 day videos, let me show you. Is that like an arrow? Kind of looks like an arrow, I'm not going to lie. But anyways, you can see we're really, really slow right now. And if I was to V, you're going to see that my stats have been decreased. It's because I'm being weighed down. Meaning I'm actually weaker in here than on Earth because Earth has lighter gravity. So what we do is we kind of back ourselves into a corner. We're going to Shadow Dummy train. And we're just going to fight him. Now he does eventually teleport. But we're just going to keep doing this. And just try and kill him. We want to keep our distance so he doesn't hit us as much as possible. And if you're wondering why sometimes I only do one damage, it's because on the right side, that yellow bar, it's already pretty much gone now. But when it decreases, I'm not able to get these heavy hits. And then I just do one damage, and he's killed me, basically. You can see that I've got down to 14 HP, but look at that TP! I got into 120! Do You guys saw that increase? Uh, that's insane. And now if I put more mind, I get more of an increase. So it gets crazier and crazier. So I put more into strength, definitely more into constitution. Hill up. And then we can go ahead and do another Shadow Dummy. Now, he is going to be stronger each time. But so are we. So it kind of stacks up. I definitely need more Dexterity. Because that's why I'm dying so easy. My yellow bar runs out. And then all I can do is do like one damage. Until it refills. Bro, where? Oh, he already killed me basically. Alright, well we still got 88 TP. This is going to take a while. But my goal is to try and get all these stats. Or at least the majority of them. To like at least 25 be kind of good maybe 25 30 yeah about 25 to 30 ish because then i could actually start doing the main story so this is gonna take a while i'm gonna go gather some food get a sensu bean maybe a couple sensu beans if it takes me a couple days and then i can start training here lads i think this is probably the luckiest we've been because i just went around kame's lookout and i've already saw the cell arena in that direction but i can't wait to get my fly move but uh, anyways, I got the cell arena in that direction, but in this direction, there's actually the Rocky Mountains biome, which if you've seen the show, it's basically in the Sand Saga. It's where most of the Sand Saga takes place, where they fight and everything. Uh, this is where the dinosaurs spawn. This is where the majority of the dinosaurs spawn, meaning this is where I can get dinosaur meat, which is like really, really good. Now in the late game, it's not so good from what I experienced, but it's like still the best food that you can basically get that's not a sensu bean. And there's also big dinosaur meat. So what I'm going to do here is it's also a good way to train TP. But I'm going to kill these guys. So I'm going to go and charge up my key a bit. Because these guys are no joke. And then I can just go fight some dinosaurs. Get some meat. Okay, these guys might actually kill me if I'm not careful. 
Okay, these guys might actually kill me. Nope, nope, not today. Ugh, I can't fly. At least this is good for TP gain. Oh, I'm actually destroying them. Get bodied. Dodge and weave. And they're destroyed. So I got two dinosaur me from that, some XP. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. So now I can start getting these higher. I'm going to get my mind up first because then I can gain higher TP, which means I can get my stats up faster. Overall, best move. Also, if I want to get armor, which I don't really need it, but if I if I wanted armor, I could obviously just get Crystallite Ore. But uh, I think I'm going to pass this time because I got Gogeta armor. Got that Gogeta outfit on. I'm pretty satisfied with it. And then, bam, I've already got more TP. Oh, not enough to level up, though. Let's change that. Let's change that. Let's change that. So now I guess I'm just going to go run around, get a bunch of dinosaur meat, head back to base, smelt it, and then I should be ready for a huge training session. I just need a lot of food first because I don't have the healing liquid. Also, I'm going to go and set TP here, and we'll call this Rocky. So we'll know how to get here because we're going to have to do this when we go to the Sand Saga. We're going to have to come here a lot. All right, guys, I'm finally back to base, and our wheat has still not grown because I haven't been in the area enough. And I haven't really got any bones to make bone mill, sadly. But when it turns night, I might try and collect some. I don't know. Either way, I did a lot of training, and as you can see, I'm at level 6 now. I've mainly put it into my mind, my strength, my constitution, just the basic stuff. Uh, honestly, the TP again is getting a lot faster now, and I'm finally getting strong enough to where I can do a lot more. So it's getting good. I've got up to 15 dinosaur meat. I've been collecting my sensu beans, you know, just trying to keep up the grind. It has been kind of slow, but I think it's because I'm not doing the time chamber as much because I'm actually trying to get food. But that's okay, because we're about to go to the time chamber. I'm going to go get some stone and then make a furnace, and then tomorrow we're going to head to the time chamber. And when we go to the time chamber, uh, we're just going to train a bunch. And I, I hope that we can get Super Saiyan or so, because I really want to get that. And another thing I want to figure out is if there's Stardust Breaker inside this mod, which is like Gogeta's signature move. I mean, it is the coolest move, too. Probably my favorite move in Dragon Ball. I mean, yeah, I kind of like it more than Kamehameha, just because it looks so freaking cool. I mean, the Kamehameha is awesome. Don't get me wrong. Gallic Gun, awesome. Okay, it's not that cool, but the final flash is really cool. <laughs> but yeah, it's like Big Bang Attack's cool, you know. I think there's like the, the Gamma Burst Flash or whatever it's called. It's like Broly's move. That's pretty decent. But bro, the Stardust Breaker is like a rainbow orb, and it is like the coolest move ever. So if I can try and get that in this mod, I want to get it. And overall, I'm just trying to make a Gogeta build. Something that is worthy of being... The Gogeta build. I mean, I don't know what you'd call it. <laughs> Something worthy of Gogeta's supreme status. All right, guys. So it's the next day. I got a chainmail chest plate that's almost nearly like completely destroyed. That's prot too. It's a little useless to me, but I mean, it's just another example of how lucky I've been this episode. And I got three different bones, which I just turned into bone mill, which means we can finally go ahead and get us some wheat, which means we can make bread, which means we should be able to get the sheep to come to us. I really just wasted that on the grass. I'm not even going to talk about that. Um, but yeah, I should be able to make bread now, which means I can go ahead and get the sheep to go in here so we can breed them, which means we can have a pink sheep farm. All right, are you guys happy? I'm making up for my mistakes last video. Now, I'm, I'm going to say this much. None of that is scripted. Literally, none of that was planned out like... I was possibly going to use a command to put one in, but somehow there was three different ones that spawned in the area. That was all just completely legit. Like, I didn't do anything there. That's just literally how it was. So if I'm correct, I can just bring this bad boy over there. Maybe I can breed them. Be kind of lit, you know? There's a third one over there somewhere. If I find that, I can go ahead and throw him in there too. And that'll be three pink sheep. Normally what people do is they get like a, a pink sheep and then a normal sheep and then they breed them. But I'm like, nah, I'm going to change the game, you know? Yeah, having these super jumps really does help. I'll say that much. Now, let's see if we can go ahead and get the other one in there as well. I don't know what you're supposed to be. I'm not even going to try figuring out what this family correlation is going to be. But, uh, I don't know. You can be the uncle, I guess. <laughs> He'll be the weird uncle. Come on, bro. Hop on in. Let's go. Let's get it. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Sheep, gang. I'll oh, shut up now. All right, look, I'll, I'll stop making dad jokes over here. All right, look, come on, come on. Yeah, bah. Bro, baha blah. All right. <laughs> hey, let's go. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Peak sheep. <laughs> I'm gonna shut up now. It's time to go train. This is supposed to be a Dragon Ball video. What am I doing out here? All right, let's make a chest, by the way. I have literally two... <sighs> I don't understand how I have this many subscribers and I can't even do this, bro. I, I know you guys don't either. I know. I know. All right. Listen, I know. 
but that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. It's just that's just how it is. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Anyways, we're gonna go up there now. It's about nighttime. I don't care. We're gonna be in the hyperbolic time chamber anyways, and we're gonna go train a lot because we want to get super sand, which requires a thousand TP. That's a lot. But with how fast I've already been getting hundreds of TP, and the fact that I'm gonna be trying to train up my mind and stuff, I should be good. I got enough meat and everything to where I should be good. I'm probably gonna have to throw on a weight eventually. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm just gonna try and get up my mind a bit, get up my TP, get to super form, get my constitution and strength up a bit and stuff, and then I wanna unlock fly as well. So there's a lot of stuff I wanna do here. It might take at least five, ten days. I don't really know. But somewhere in that range is what it should take because what I'm going for is I'm going to get my constitution to about 25, strength to about 25 to 30, dexterity to 15. My mind's going to be way up there. I've already got 22 available mine. I need maybe like 20 more and I'll be able to get fly as well with my super form. So super form, then I want to unlock fly, which is like right here. I can go ahead and unlock it. All right, so I, I can fly now. Okay, cool. So I've already unlocked one thing. Easy dubs. So now I have to get to my super form and get my stats up a bit. Not that hard. So let's go ahead and do it. And after this, we're going to do some story. But I have to do a lot of training here. Uh, I'm going to stay at, like, I guess 50% power. And then maybe I'll try doing some weight training later. Either way, yeah, I'm pretty hyped up for this. All right. I think I'm officially done training. <laughs> I think I felt like I... Oh, man, my key went out. Oh, well. I, did, I left my key on. I went to, like, tab out to check my settings and stuff. And then that happened, bro. All right, anyways. So it's nighttime, unfortunately. I hate nighttime. However, we've gotten our stats up to higher. 31 strength, 20 dexterity, 30 constitution, 20 willpower, 42 mind. Bam. We can do uh, super form 1. And we already have fly, like I said. So we're going to go ahead and unlock super form 1. To get the next one, we need 5,000 TP. So it's going to be a bit, but at least we have our first form. Now we still have a lot of stats left. I think I'm going to put a lot into mind. Because even though it's expensive, I could really use another skill as soon as possible. Oh, man, like, this this kills me, but it is going to make me gain more TP, and I'm going to be able to get to another move or another form quicker. So now that I've got that training done, I should be able to start the actual story, but I think I'm going to go sleep first because, bro, it is, it's getting dark. Actually, is it turning? Nope. Oh, yeah, it's turning daytime. Never mind then. Well, I suppose we should get started. The day has only just begun. Uh, let's go ahead and find Master Roshi's house, which is the first quest within the saga. So... I just want to breeze through the Dragon Ball Saga because it's very boring. I feel like this saga goes on way too long. It goes on longer than the Dragon Ball Z Sagas. It's crazy. But I have to go find Master Roshi, who's somewhere around here. I can fly now. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, hey! Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that, that almost went horrible, but uh, I saved myself just in time by charging up. I almost died. Anyways... So I have to go find the ocean. My chunks are just now loading in, but I have to go find the ocean somewhere. Um, my home's right there, obviously, so I don't got to worry too much about flying commies lookout. But I have to go look for the ocean now. I didn't even think about that. That might take a bit. I have to go look for the ocean. I'll let you guys know when I find Master Roshi. It's always kind of annoying finding him. But when I do, I can start the story, and it's pretty easy from there. Finally! <laughs> this took me so long just to find... I got everything else. But there was not an ocean biome for about 3,000 blocks. But just so you know, I went 3,000 blocks out that direction and the other direction, then this direction. You don't want to know how long it took me to get here. This was a stupid amount of time wasted on just finding this freaking Kame. Oh my god, bro. Finally, I got it done. This is ridiculous. This took me like, like literally like an hour just to find this place. I'm just literally watching something while I just go in a straight direction. And the chunks load so slow because it's 1.7.10. 1. And I want to cry. But you know what? The content, the, the determination, I must not stop. There's Master Roshi. Let's go. Hey, it was good. Yep. Thank you. All right. Nice to nice doing business with you. So now I'm going to do to protect. We're doing the good side here. It gave us another Nimbus for some reason. All right. Now i got to kill you. Oh, crap. <laughs> Uh, finally. Oh, wait, you know what? I might as well just go ahead and, like... I mean, I'm not gonna have to come here, probably, but you might, might as well, just in case. Just in case. Like, I'm just... I don't wanna have to come all the way back here. Oh, it took so long to find an ocean biome. I hate that mission. Alright, now I'm finally home. Time to sleep. Alright, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually do some of the missions, and we're gonna form up, and we're gonna see what we can do. I got a little bit of dinosaur meat left over. I had my key off that entire time, so I wouldn't have to constantly drain it. 
we're just gonna see what we can do. So first off, let's go Super Saiyan. All I have to do is hold G, and here it comes. Super Saiyan 1. The first form that we ever achieve. <clears throat> Boom, baby, look at that. Woo, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so now you can see we've gotten to 85,000 power level, and our stats are being multiplied by about 1.5 times, I believe. It's pretty crazy. My original dexterity is 20. It's modified to 50 now. This gives me a huge power buff. It's insane. So let's not waste any time. Let's actually get into fighting because it's going to be worth it. First off, we got Yamcha. Two hit. Boom. Done. Dead. Gone. Just, 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 he's, he's just gone, all right? That's about all there is to it. So now I have to kill three people. One shot, one shot, boom. Oh, I'm, I'm about to just completely blitz through this. Uh, Pilaf Saga, you know, I gotta kill the mecha versions now. Because that's a thing. Bonk, bink, bink. Bro, this is easy. Bro, this, this part always takes forever too. Because, like, these, these missions take forever. There's, like, a hundred of them. They're not even that hard until you get to a certain point. They're normally just, like, there's just a lot of them. Good news is they do give me Dragon Balls. So eventually I can summon Shinron. I've been able to summon Shinron, I think, every single 100 Days V I've done on DBC just because of these Dragon Balls they give you. Plus, I normally find a couple out in the wild. At least, like, one to two usually. So that kind of helps out. So Yamcha real quick. Yep, yep. All right, to protect again. But we're going to be so good. We're already full good side. We're already 100% good. That's that's insane. Jack Chun. They can't even hardly damage me. I didn't realize how much of a buff Super Saiyan is. So essentially, there's a lot of these lame missions in this that are like... It's just a bunch of like, basically... Guy spawns, kill guy. Do this, protect. Guy spawns, kill guy. <laughs> like, it's it's honestly not that hard until you get to like the very end of the Dragon Ball Saga. Piccolo is kind of tough. And then uh, it, it, it does eventually get kind of hard. But right now, it's just very, very easy. They're starting it off incredibly easy. And it wouldn't be so bad if there wasn't so many of them. But there is a ton. Like, there, there's just way too many and it goes on so long. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip to the part of where I eventually just can't go any further in the story. Okay, there's a lot of these guys. Oh my god. All right. Eat food, eat food. Luckily, they're very easy to kill. Uh, my dinosaur meat's gone. That's not good. I thought I had an extra one. I have almost a 2,000 TP already just from fighting these guys. Like, it's insane. That's one good thing. I'm getting Dragon Balls, and I'm getting... Uh, excuse me? Did, did, was he supposed to spawn in? Because he's not spawning in, bro. Bro. Wait, did he? Oh! Hey, yo! Okay, so he did spawn in. Okay, they're getting kind of tough now, and I don't have food, so I'm probably going to die soon. I don't think I'll be able to make it much further. Alright, Fortune Teller Baba Saga. I hate this guy right here. He's annoying. I'm just going to fly up and just point, bink. Yup. Fly does that, man. I'm probably going to die on this next one, so I don't know if I'm going to do it. Nah, I'm not doing the Invisible Man right now. He will he will body me. I've learned that from my last episodes. I need to at least have some food. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go gather some food, get some sensu beans, and then we'll continue. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do a little bit of training as well. Because what, at this rate, I could probably go ahead and get a couple forms of my Super Saiyan. Like, there's a couple different grades. So I'm going to go train a little bit, get me some food, get a little stronger, and then we're going to come back and do more of the story. All right, guys, we're officially out of the time chamber and we're ready to go. So I've collected up some food, some sensu beans. We got some TP, about 15,000 TP. I put a little bit more into my mind so I'd be sure that I was able to get my super form. So we're going to go ahead and level that up once. And then we're left with about 10,000 training points. We won't be able to get this next super form, unfortunately. Actually, you know what? I'm so good. I'll see you guys in like a day or two. You know what? I'm going to make sure I get this done. Okay, now we're officially good to go. I've got enough. Here we are. So, my stats are actually pretty even looking right now, but we got 13,000 left over. We're going to go and upgrade our Super Form again. Now, I'm pretty sure this just gives us Grade 3 of Super Saiyan. I don't think we're going to be at, like, uh, Super Saiyan Full Power yet. That's going to be the next one. Then we get Super Saiyan 2, then there's 3, and then there's 4. After that, Super Saiyan will be maxed out at level 6. Then we can go to our God Forms, but we're not quite there yet. Right now, though, having, like, pretty much almost maxed out Super Saiyan 1 is pretty strong. So, we have 2,000 left over. 
Ah, uh, man. I really wanted to try and get potential unlock. But I don't think we're going to be able to, are we? Because, mm, like, to be able to get the skill potential unlock, I need 20 mind and 30. Alright, so... Yeah, I don't know if I'll have enough, but... We'll give it a shot. Alright, screw it. Screw it. Listen, listen. I just want to be sure, okay? I just want to be sure. It doesn't take that long. Because my TP gain is getting so high now. And I can use a weight, by the way. Which helps out. I've had to use a couple by now. Oh, crap. Here we go. Now, once this is done... Woo! Wait, wait, wait. Alright. Go and use a sensor bean. I'm not exactly being smart here, just because I'm kind of rushing in. I'm not even getting up to a wall. But hey! Uh, now... This will take a little bit. Look, it doesn't even take me that long. Like, I can probably do, like, maybe two more Shadow Dummies. Let me go and put my weight, my new weight. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I think it's like that. Yeah, okay, there we go. So, now, let's go ahead. Shadow Dummy, let's go. And now, if we kill this guy one more time, I think we might have enough to go ahead and get our potential unlocked. The reason I want to do that is because I want to be able to get to 100% power, because that's a huge power buff, and I haven't done it in any series except for, I believe, maybe Goku Black, and then I think Frieza. I did it definitely in Frieza, but I don't know about the others. I really don't want to waste my food here, so I'm trying to just do this casually. Alright, he beat me. Oh well. Hey, but I got more than enough, as you can see. So I can go ahead. I gotta do it like one more time. Okay, never mind. One more time and we should be good. See, off camera, I have to do this constantly. But it goes by kind of fast. I just stack up a lot pretty quickly. Whoa, 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 whoa. So as you have food, that's a major thing. I can't wait to get to Namek, because at Namek, I'll be able to get the healing stuff, and that's basically makes you invincible. I won't even need food for training. I can just do whatever, and I'm good. All right, so now mine's at 100. It just keeps getting faster, by the way. And now I should be able to go ahead. Let's get out of here. Let's take off this weight. Let's get the heck out of here. And we'll go here, learn skills, potential unlock. So now I have potential unlocks, which allows me to go up to 55% power now. It may not be much, but I can build up on that over time. So leveling up my super form and potential unlock are going to be some of my major things. But right now, I'm just going to boost up that constitution a bit. Because the more I can fight and the stronger I am with my HP, the more I can withstand damage. Overall, just the better. And it gets multiplied by my form. And now that there's no stack cap limit, I can really get insane. Last time, I got capped out with my stats on my Black Frieza video, but I shouldn't be capped out this time. Anyways, it's time to go sleep, uh, and then we'll continue tomorrow. We'll do some more of the story. Alright, let's continue the story. I'm ready to get this going. So let's go ahead and form up at 55%. We'll be at full power. We'll go ahead and... I'm not going to use a sensor bean yet. I'm going to use my dinosaur mate just because I'm not in combat. Alright, we're good. We're a lot stronger now, as you can see. We go up to 95,000 power level. Now let's kill this invisible man. See, it's, it's particles, particles. Bro, I hate this guy. Because he teleports. Literally. He just teleports. Come on, dude. Just come here already so I can kill you. Finally. I hate that guy, man. Bro could be the strongest fighter in Dragon Ball with the way he fights. Alright, let me go ahead and get this. Oh, I didn't mean the shadow dummy. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, so now if I eat this, back to full power, let's keep it going. We're probably not going to do the entire Dragon Ball Saga because we're going to run out of food. But we're going to be able to do the majority. Yeah, Shao Tzu's kind of weak, but then the TN's like, What did you do? He'll come in a minute. He's actually pretty strong. Krillin's like, eh. To be honest, he's kind of weak. Yeah, he got bodied. Wait till you see TN though. TN's actually got, yeah, he's got like a... Uh, a lot of power, not gonna lie. Since you've been... You almost killed me. Alright, Tien's dead. That's another saga down. I believe. Yep, King Piccolo saga. So now we're getting, like, near the end. And I'm gonna die. I'm dead. That's my first death. Dang it, dude. Now, I could in theory go across to King Kai, but I think I'm gonna wait because I don't have enough TP. Yeah, I don't have nearly enough TP. I wouldn't be able to learn anything anyway. So we're going to have to come back here. I'm just going to head back, get my stuff. Uh, I still got food. I really just need to train more. It sucks, but honestly, training is just a huge part of this. I need to train more. So I'm going to spend some time 
uh, training, and hopefully I can unlock, like, maybe Super Saiyan. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna go all in, bro. I'm gonna get some food, get me some Sensu Beans. I'm gonna go all in on my training, and this time I'm gonna Super Saiyan 2, possibly even Super Saiyan 3. And we're gonna see how far we can get, because it's time for us to have some big power boost. Now that we've gotten our TP to be high, we'll be able to get a lot of TP fast. So what I'm, gonna, what I'm saying is we're about to get a lot of power boost. We start off really slow, but we're about to get really fast. We'll probably be at Super Saiyan Blue within like maybe 20, 30 days. Okay, maybe not that fast. We'll see what happens, but we're going to be going really, really quickly because I know how it gets. You normally don't stay around Super Saiyan 2 to, uh, 2 to 3 that long before you're already at like Super Saiyan God. Whoa, 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 not recarnation. Revive. There we go. Whew. Had me worried there for a second. All right, so all I have to do is go to where I died and get my stuff, which is like right there. Yeah. We'll go and grab this, and then we're going to go train some more. I know, so exciting. Get me some Sensu Beans and train some more, and I'll get back to you guys whenever I've done that, because we're clearly still way too weak. So it's time to become the absolute GOAT. Right, right now, we might have had a small power boost, but we're just now getting to the point of where our TP is at a high level. Now, next time you guys see me, we're going to have a huge power boost. Guys, I'm officially done with my training, and let me just say... <laughs> it is something else. It is something else. Once your mind gets to about 200, the TP game gets insane. I want you guys to know, I have gotten so much stronger. It's ridiculous. Compared to what I used to be, I'm about to be like 100 times stronger already. So first off, I've been putting a lot in my mind, so I've already got 100 available. Oh my god. I literally doubled my mind. I didn't even know. Well, I can go ahead and unlock my next super form. My next super form. My next super form. Um, I think I'm going to go up to Super Saiyan 3 now, guys. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I just can't get to that final Super Saiyan 4. That'll have to be for another day. But I can go Super Saiyan 3 now. Pretty huge. Pretty massive. Uh, I can also go ahead and unlock more Potential Unlock, which is really cool. Might as well go ahead and do two of those. So now I have Potential Unlock level 3. I mean, I can go to like 75 power or 70. Let's see. I think it's just... No way, it's just 65. Is it just 65? Oh, yeah, it is just 65. All right, so we get 65, which is a step up. And now we still have some left over. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this into our actual strength and constitution stuff and make ourselves a lot more powerful. And this will also multiply in battles so we can do more. I want to have a higher key power there. I'm going to just get a ton of constitution because we're going to need a lot of HP. Like That's going to be something that we need a ton of. So I'm going to get this up to like 100. Put our strength up to like maybe 60. Get this up to like at least 30. Come on. And then spirit. Uh, key pool. Yeah, we could definitely use more key. And just the rest. Okay, well, I'm, never mind. I've already used it all up. Um, Yeah, 2,200 HP. 163,000 at our base with power level not even formed up. And now we have multiple forms. So right now, uh, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan Grey 2. Let's just go to Super Saiyan 2, right? Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2nd grade, Super Saiyan 3rd grade, right? So this is like, we almost have a million power level when we're in 3rd grade. But now if we form out, and we used to form back up, we have full power Super Saiyan, so it's technically just almost as strong. Almost as strong. It's mainly my configs, so I gotta fix that. It's almost as strong, and it doesn't take nearly as much key. That's like the thing I had going. Because basically it has the same settings as what I did when I did a DPC server, like years ago. But that's not what we're gonna be using anyways. We're going to be using Super Saiyan 2. Boom. We got Super Saiyan 2 right here. Wait, that's not Super Saiyan 2. Is it? Nah, because, like, where's the electricity? Yeah, no, that's not Super Saiyan 2. I was about to say. Let's, let's get out of our transformation here. Maybe it'll take us up to Super Saiyan 2 if I keep holding it. Yep, okay. We're now Super Saiyan 2. 1.4 million. Look how much spikier the hair is. Now we're going to go to Super Saiyan 3. Our strongest form yet. Ba dun 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 dun. Look at that, man. I am insanely strong now. Whew. The only bad part is there's a huge stamina drop if you use Super Saiyan 3. So right now I'm going to get out of my form. And now we can go all the way to Super Saiyan 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our base. We're going to go home. 
And we're gonna go ahead and sleep, and then tomorrow we're gonna fight a bunch of stuff. We are so much stronger now. That's gonna be our first big power boost. The next one will probably have Super Saiyan God, maybe even Super Saiyan Blue if we're lucky. Unfortunately, we're probably gonna pass straight over Super Saiyan like uh, 4 because it's just not all that good compared to Super Saiyan Blue and all that. So that's unfortunate, but it's true. Before we do anything else, let's just go ahead and expand our farm because we could really use it. So. Bro, I didn't even give me a seed. I need a seed. I gotta replace it. I gotta replace it, bro. Oh, I already got seeds. Never mind. What am I talking about? I am so stupid. We're gonna make our farm bigger. It doesn't really grow all that much because we're not in the area enough. We're normally off in the time chamber or in another planet, whatever it's gonna be. You know, it's always a different dimension, so we're not nearly around here that much. Easy dubs. We got seven Dragon Balls now. Okay, we can summon Shinron soon, whenever we want to do that. Maybe on day 50. I know we're, get, we're like uh, edging up on day 50, so... Might as well do it on day 50. I think we always get it about day 50, because we always get to this point about the same time. I'm hoping by like day 75 to already be done with the Frieza Saga, and to hopefully be working on the main world stuff. Because I want to get far. I want to be able to defeat Cell and stuff. That'd be freaking awesome. Alright, now we gotta talk to Kami. Uh, I should probably add a TP up there, I'm not gonna lie. Now, Piccolo Jr. Saga. Now we're getting to the very end of the normal Dragon Ball Saga, and we're gonna be moving into the Saiyan Saga, which is where Vegeta and Nappa are. After we get through the Saiyan Saga, we'll be to the Frieza Saga, which is gonna be where it gets pretty intense. That's normally the end game of stuff, so... We're already making some massive progress. Alright, Piccolo's Son. This is like the very end of the normal Dragon Ball Saga. Now he's gonna get big, so this is the very last fight. He's gonna get big, and then after that, we're gonna move on to the Saiyan Saga. Boink, boink. But hey, 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 what are you running for? That's what I thought. All right, so now he's dead. Might as well go ahead and go to the Rocky Biome real quick. And let's go ahead and start. I don't know if we'll be able to do it all, but we'll go ahead and do this. Yeah. This is the power of Super Saiyan 2. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and eat up a little bit. We're probably gonna have to train up before we do the Frieza Saga. I don't know about the Saiyan Saga though. We might be able to breeze through it. Just because we already have so much power and I'm not even using Super Saiyan 3. And I got me some Sinsu Beans. Sinsu Beans are huge. That's why I'm saving them. Because it'll help out a lot in uh, the fight against Vegeta and Nappa. So Raditz. I gotta eat, eat, eat. Not about to waste a Sinsu Bean on you, dude. Alright, that's massive. Okay. Uh, to protect, I think I do gotta get... Yeah, I gotta get up a lot of food. So, like, right now, I have three of ten dinosaur meat. I need to gather some more, and I, kill, I need to kill some Cybermen. So, we'll go ahead and kill the Cybermen, I guess. Get that out of the way. Oh, my God. Okay, then. Let's just do this. Let's get this over with. Yep. I'll eventually kill them all. Eventually. This is nuts. Last bit of food, but they're almost all dead. Yep. 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 Alright, all the Cybermen are dead. Meaning now I just need... Bonk. Hey, 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 hey! Bonk. I wonder how much TP I gained from all that. Yeah, that looks about right. I mean, I'm not using weights or anything, so, like, this looks about right, to be honest. So, we'll go ahead and add some more constitution in there. The more HP, the better at this point. So, now, what I want to do is I need to go get some dinosaur meat, which I was going to use for fighting anyways. And then we'll be able to continue the story. So, I'll meet you guys soon. And then we might also go ahead and do Shinron as well. Alright, guys, I officially have everything I need. All the food. Uh, I've got, like, literally all I need. Like, literally everything i got i didn't get any other sensor beans i kind of forgot about that part but you know what we're fine i didn't get any more sensor beans but we'll be fine there probably is some more that i could go get if i need i guess so i guess if i die i could always get some more but i should need it anyways i got plenty of food so i didn't even think about it either way we're gonna be able to do the story now there's this guy over here i want to go ahead and get him out of the way i'm trying to think if there's anything i'm missing i know i could do shinron uh you know what fine We'll go ahead and do Shinron right now. 
Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Gogeta! Gogeta! Okay, I'll shut up. Alright. Uh, we could do, like, some, uh... Mm -hmm. One catch and charge is really not enough, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to do multiple in the- I know I'm just gonna do- I'm gonna do the power pull. I'm not gonna go for the Z-Sword in this. Cause it's not like I'm doing a future trunks thing or anything, so like having just a really good weapon right off the bat. It'd be nice. Also, a lot of people ask me, Timmy, uh, why, why are you using the power pull or any sort of weapon when your fist already do so much damage? It's because it actually does take into effect, like, into account the weapon's damage. Like, it multiplies the weapon's damage, so it adds a little bit more damage to your overall attack. So it is better. That's why, this is also, like, two times the damage of a diamond sword. So this is also a lot better overall already. I believe it does help out a lot. And that's why swords exist in this mod. It's not everything. It's really not that much, but it does help. Alright, so I've been told I can fight them separately. So I'm gonna, busy, I'm gonna go ahead and start, kill Nappa, and then kill Vegeta. Wait, 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 bro, 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 let me form up. I forgot to form up. I'm stupid. I'm dead. We ain't gotta talk about that. Alright, now we're back. It's time to get revenge. That was the stupidest thing I think I've ever done in any 100 days video. And I don't even think it's even close. This is this has got to be the dumbest thing I've done next to the pink sheep thing. <laughs> At least that one. I was just, I didn't know what I was doing. This one I knew I messed up. It was just too late. Alright, alright, alright. Time to get revenge, bro. I can't stand this. All right, let's go and form up. We'll go to Super Saiyan 3 for this one. No holding back. That's how mad I am. Let's do this. Uh, I got... Yeah, my, my power is over 9,000. But like, where y'all at? How much you want to bet they're up here? They probably spawned all the way up here, didn't they? Somehow. No? Can I respawn them? Alright, now we're good. So I can fight them separately. Nappa. Get bodied. Hey! Wait your turn, dang, bro! Since you been? You're dead. You're gone. How's it feel? Alright, let's go ahead and immediately get out of form because that drains a lot. Now we can officially go to Namek. Heck yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna get some Sensu Beans first. Should I do some training before I go there? <gasps> no, we're going to Namek right now. Because if I go to Namek, I can go ahead and get the um, medical liquid stuff. I gotta go get some of the, like, the, the green stuff on the grass. You know what? You know, not wheat. I'm talking about like the... <laughs> it heals you. I forget what it's called. It's like the medical grass. Whatever. And now that I think about it, it sounds so weird. But look, I just gotta find some of that medical grass. It's all over Namek. And if I get enough, I can make me some of that liquid. And then I'm set. That's all I need. After that, I can heal up in the time chamber. And I can pretty much train as much as I want. Not having to worry about the damage it takes. Because I'll be able to instantly heal. So basically what I'm saying is... Infinite training. Meaning I'll be pretty much unstoppable. Considering there's no stack cap unlike the other video. I'll see you guys after I get the stuff. And then we'll make the healing pot area, and then I'll start training. Oh, look, there's some grass right there. All right, I've already found some. Let's go. All right, guys. Officially home. Now, let's go ahead and go to Kame's lookout. You know, I can just teleport, bro. Why didn't I just teleport? That'd be so much easier. All right, so now we're going to go in here, and we're going to make our little area. For the people that haven't seen one of my 100-day videos before, number one, welcome to the channel. <laughs> like, I haven't said that before, but, you know, welcome to the channel. Bro, I can just walk around casually. I'm getting so strong. So what I normally do is i make like a little area like say no not like that like 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 this yeah and then like that right and then i just kind of chill in here and i'm like all right you know what i kind of feel like grinding a little bit so then i put on like a little way here i could probably use a little bit more weight but it's all right we're gonna go ahead and do shadow dummy and then boom and now look if you look on the right hand uh corner i can just heal non-stop he's gonna eventually hit me and look i just keep healing my healing never stops. And now I can just keep fighting this guy non-stop until he eventually dies. And then I get a lot of TP from that. 
And I can probably unlock another form. All right, guys. I think we might have maybe one more training arc before the end of this video. <laughs> but uh, this one was probably the biggest. Because we're finally getting to the in-game content. Now, as you can see, I barely had to use any food. I had to eat a little bit just because my food does naturally lay down. But it's not like I'm running around or anything. I mean, I'm constantly healing, just chilling in that little healing pod. I was fine. It makes it so much easier for me to keep food and stuff ready for whenever I have to do fights. I, can, I still need to go collect uh, sensu beans here and there, though. That'd be probably be a lot more useful. But you can see, I got 610,000 TP, not including the mind I already put in. I think I, like, doubled my mind. Because all I did for the longest time was I just kept putting it in the mind. Kept putting it in the mind. So I just got faster and faster. And I've just been getting so much TP, it's not even funny. The higher this goes, the more TP I earn. So it's getting really quick. Now I can unlock Super Saiyan 4. I have the maxed out Super Saiyan now. And since I have enough, I'm going to go see if I can go ahead and unlock God, which is like the next step up. So I have to go to Whis over here. And then I can be like, all right, let me learn the God form, right? So then he teaches me the God form. So now I have Super Saiyan God. I can go ahead and upgrade that again. Upgrade again. I now have Super Saiyan Blue Evolved. Yep. That easy. That quick. It's honestly, honestly, once you get past normal super forms, the god forms are super easy to level up for some reason. They're like so quick to get up to their full power as long as you have a bit of mind. So now that I have that, I can just keep going. So I'm going to go ahead and put a lot into potential unlock. Uh, I'm like so close to having maxed out potential unlock. I might as well go ahead and do all the way. Dude, I'm going to be so insane. I want to make sure my constitution is high. That's as high as I can get. I used all my TP, but most of it went into constitution, so I'd have higher HP on the right. Now my base power level at 100% is 1.3 million. Almost 1.4 million. And I can do Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Grade 2. I'm going to keep God as the new basic. So now we have Gogeta God. 13 million battle power, dude. That's insane. Now let's go up another one. Let's go to Super Saiyan Blue. 20 million battle power. This is like the girl, the Gogeta from Super Broly. Now we can go to Super Saiyan Blue Evolved at 100%, which leads us up to 27 million battle power. The strongest I can get in a form without getting Ultra Instinct. Now, I probably could get Ultra Instinct, but it's a lot harder to use in this than you would think. It's probably a 200 days concept, so we're probably going to leave it for 200 days. However, now we have our God Forms. Super Saiyan Blue Shinka, Super Saiyan Blue Evolved, whatever you want to call it. And we also have full potential uh, unlocked. So I think we can absolutely destroy Frieza, especially with what we got. So I'm going to go gather some food and some sensu beans, and then I'm going to meet you guys on Namek. And we're about to breeze through the entire Namek saga, come back to Earth, and then start working to fight Cell. That's right, Cell and the androids. All right. Pink sheep, I have to go. Listen, I, I love you guys, but I have to go. All right, listen, I got to go, and I got to fight Frieza. So we're going to go to Namek now. We're going to go to planet Namek. And then we're simply, wherever it spawns us, we're going to hop out. And then we're going to begin fighting. Which means we need to first form up. We can't get too far ahead of ourselves, you know? My gosh. I am obliterating them. Looking good. Pretty fair fight. All right, Neck. Ah, so it's just like the show. They kind of wait for him to go for it. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Boink, boink. Dead, dead, dead. This feels so much easier than my other 100 day videos because I'm already so strong. I'm doing everything so properly this time. I've done this so many times before, it's it's nothing for me now. Get up my constitution more. To protect. Alright, where's Frieza? Time to kill Frieza. Ah, yeah! You know what? Form up. I want you to form up. I never let you form up, so let's, let's actually fight you at full power. Yeah, that's right. I'm doing the Goku strat. Form up. A full power Big Bang attack. How'd that feel? Oh, hey. Hello. Hi. Maybe I got a little too cocky letting you get to your full power. But I got Sensu Bean, so it's okay. Sensu Bean? He's almost dead. Boom. Frieza's taken out. That's not fair. Why do you wait for my last transfer? I did. Yep. Yep. There we go. Oh, y'all dead. Y'all didn't learn your lesson? Whoa! Who taught you that? Get out of here, bro. Since you've been... Y'all weak. Pathetic. Give me a challenge. That's right. 
I said it. You remember how I struggled on this? A video or two ago? Yeah, that's changed. Not with Gogeta. Gogeta's built different. Luckily, with this form, though, any progress I make is multiplied by a lot. Oh, no. Ah, oh, That's... Okay, okay. Instead of wasting our sensor beans trying to fight these guys over and over again, I think I finally need to go train some more. So I'm going to get my stuff. We're going to go train some more. And then we'll be back. It's super easy now. It's going to be so quick because now I have a high TP gain. I mean, I do have to get more and more TP, so it kind of just goes with it anyways. But I have higher TP gain now. I have the healing liquid. And I have this really high form. So every bit of progress I make is multiplied by about three times. So one strength stack gets multiplied by about three to four times. It's pretty crazy. So yeah, I'm going to go train. Oh yeah. We're about to kill Cell, all right. <laughs> oh yeah, a million TP. We're getting there. I've just been saving it up because like, you know what? My goal is to hit a million TP this time. And I did it. I did it. And now we're going to do what you would expect. You guys see what I'm seeing? No, no, no. You, you see what I'm seeing, right? 27 million in my base. I literally just had a Zinkai boost. What was 27 million was what I was in my Super Saiyan Blue Evolution form. In the last day that I updated you guys. Now in my base form, I have that. Yeah. Um, actually, no. I'm going to go sleep first. Tomorrow, we're going to go and we're going to fight uh, Cell and stuff. This is about to be insane. I don't think we've ever gotten this strong. I'm scared to know how strong we're about to be, even without Kaioken. All right, we're ready. Let's go to the Rocky Biome. And let's form up and see the stats go up in real time. Wait, wait, wait. All right, Super Saiyan God. And Super Saiyan God... Oh, <laughs> 273 million battle power. Super Saiyan Blue, 349 battle power. Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, four, no, 556 million. We're about to start going, oh my God, bro. We're about to start going into the billions. This is getting crazy. I can't. Yeah, no, we're about to destroy these guys. Bro, bro, we are annihilating him. No, come back here. Come back here. We've never been this strong. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. I don't want to wear that. I'm fine. Easy, easy. I win, nerd. I win, I win. I'm just so much stronger in this than any other video I've made. It's not even funny. Now I can kill Cell. It's because now I actually have lifted up the stack cap and I actually can use my forms properly like they're supposed to be used. So now we have to kill the man himself, Cell, who was the strongest person I've fought so far. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cell, Reyna. Let me, let me come over here. The strongest person I've fought so far. Let him form up. Let the man form up. No more cheap shots. Said form up, bro. Uh. Okay, it's okay. He only goes to a second form anyways. We're going to fight the real perfect cell soon. Now we have to go to Dirty Stony, which is this. And we have to fight more androids, I'm pretty sure. At least I have these teleports, which makes it a lot quicker for me to get around. Uh, Android 16 and 17. Mm-hmm. Keep an eye on that HP bar. All right, we're good. We are obliterating right now. This is crazy. All right, next, we have to fight actual cell. Pretty sure it's perfect cell. So let's go to the cell arena again, just for the sake of like being near the area. Okay, so I know this is a little weird because I've never done something like this before, but essentially the last few days got completely screwed over by my audio, so I have to voice over them. For some reason, my microphone was not working in those last couple clips, so I'm gonna be voicing over them instead just because I want to have the full experience given to you guys. So basically, we ended up just trying to go and fight Majin Buu. That's right, we went to the Buu Saga, which was very interesting at first because the Buu Saga was like something we'd never reached before. And I had to fight Buu and a bunch of other people from the Buu Saga, and I had to go to Bobbity to even get into the Buu Saga. Once that had happened, I fought a ton of different people, and after fighting tons of different people... I had gotten a lot stronger, and I realized I needed to get even stronger than that because I wanted to see just how far we could truly get. My main objective was to try and get Kaioken because I knew if I get to Kaioken times 100, I'd be able to see limits I've never been able to reach. 
So I headed off for King Kai's planet and actually started to look and see if I could like get some new moves and stuff. So I completely maxed out Kaioken, got Kaioken times 100. I got the Spirit Bomb and a couple other things like Key Sense, just, just stuff like that, little basic things. And I gave myself some more stats, gave myself some more TP, and I was stronger than I'd ever been before. So then I go back to Earth after visiting King Kai's planet, and I realize that I am just insane. I go full power, and I go from Super Saiyan to Super Saiyan Blue, you know, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan Blue Evolved, and finally I'm at my full power, so then I activate my Kaioken, and I go to Kaioken times 100. It takes a minute, but once I'm actually there, it is a crazy amount of power. Kaioken times 100 just made my stuff go up to like 13 billion, which was insane. We're talking the billions, guys. I've never been in the billions before. The most I'd ever gotten to was like a couple hundred million, and now we're finally in the billions. Absolutely insane. However, after that, we wasn't done. We decided we were going to go fight some more people. So I kept going through the sagas, and first off, we had to fight Beerus, because we finished the Boo Saga and moved on to fight Beerus. Beerus wasn't actually all that hard. He didn't give me that much of a struggle. But then next, I had to fight Whis, which was a surprise to me because I didn't expect to fight Whis, who was the master of Beerus. Anyways, we fight Whis, and we actually end up winning. After killing Whis, well, then it was kind of up into the air what's going to happen next. And what we had to do next was actually the Golden Frieza Saga, which I kind of expected, but not at the same time. I mean, it makes sense because there was Battle of Gods in this Resurrection of F. But anyways, I had to go and fight different minions of Frieza, and I had to just kill a bunch of different random people. You'd know who they are if you've watched the movie or if you've seen the show. But basically, it's a henchman on Frieza, right? After that, though, I got to actually fight the Golden Frieza. And it was really cool because he just looks so awesome. And if you haven't already, you should go see my Frieza series because that's all I could think of when I was playing this was, hey, this is just like my Frieza videos. However, after that, I decided we could just keep going until we eventually die or run out of food. So we kept going, and there was like a tournament arc. We had to fight like this big metal robots. We had to fight Kaba, and then Kaba at his um, Saber Sand form, which is supposedly going to be so strong. No, no, he got absolutely like mopped just like everyone else. My power was so strong, I was just killing everyone that I saw. It was absolutely insane. No one even stood a chance. I had never been this powerful before. 13 billion. And that's with Kaioken times 100, obviously. But even without it, I was at like a good 3 billion. It was nuts. And it wasn't even hurting me that much was the bad thing. It was literally not doing that much and I was that strong. However, after that, I finally met my end because I ran out of food. And I decided that that would be enough for 100 days. I ran out of time and I realized I ran out of days. However, if you guys want to see a 200 days video, all you have to do is put it in the comment section below and I'll continue this. Because we still haven't reached Ultra Instinct, the Tournament of Power, or the many other very, very late game things. We're late game now. But there is a later game that I've never touched before. And Gogeta is the closest to that. Fly Freeze is probably going to hit it next episode. But Gogeta could be also there if you guys want to see a part two for this. Because I didn't touch Ultra Instinct knowing that it was going to be something that would be way better suited for the Tournament of Power. So if we do 200 days, expect to see Ultra Instinct, expect to see a bunch of different stuff. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. That has been 100 days. So if you enjoyed this video, you should subscribe. Go check out some of my other 100 day videos. Like I said, go check out Ichigo. Go check out Gojo. Or my many other dozens of 100 days videos at this point. Like Pixelmon. Jojo. I mean, the Jojo one's kind of mid. I'm not going to lie. But there's a lot of really good ones like SAO. Even the older ones are really good. These newer ones are the best, though. So go check them out if you haven't already. And make sure to subscribe. Drop a like. And let's see if your video can... Not video. If your comment will be a comment of the video. And... That's pretty much it for this video, guys. It was a really fun journey. This was definitely my favorite 100 days video on DBC that I've done so far. It was just a blast. I've never made it so far, and it just felt like I was overpowered. Unfortunately, Stars Breaker wasn't in the game. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Fusion Timmy doing 100 days of Gogeta. Signing out.